In this video, I'm going to talk about laser hair removal in men, specifically black men, and discuss some of the things that are important to understand and expectations when doing this particular procedure. So in my practice, Whenever a black male is coming in for laser hair removal, there are usually three reasons why they're coming in. The first and most common reason is because they deal with ingrown hairs and the most common area is going to be in the beard area. So they have pseudofolliculitis barbae. The second time or the second reason why men come into the office for laser hair removal is if the men have HS or hydroadenitis separativa. And the third reason why men come into the office for laser hair removal is if they're struggling with acne, chelodalis, nuke. But today we're gonna focus on talking about ingrown hairs, specifically ingrown hairs on the face or pseudofolliculitis barbae. So typically when a man comes in for laser hair removal, they have been shaving. That's usually one of the, in the things that is going to trigger this condition to occur. A lot of my patients tend to be military, so they are required to have clean shaven um, beard, but it could be any for any reason, right? And so they tend to develop ingrown hairs or pseudofilicolitis barbae, which can be very, very painful. And the side effect of that for a lot of people is going to be either hyperpigmentation or scarring, and the scarring can be as bad as having keloids. So most of the time they're coming in because they want to get rid of the hair and also they want to get rid of the side effects that the hair is causing. So whenever someone comes in or male comes in for, hair, for laser hair removal, I always give them different expectations than for a woman, for example. So the first thing that you need to understand, laser hair removal in this case, the first goal with laser hair removal is going to be to decrease the rate at which the hair is growing. So we want to slow down the hair growth. We're not trying to eliminate the hair in the beginning. And so slowing down the hair growth is important because what that does is it gives your skin a chance to heal, right? So if we can slow down the hair growth, then most of the hyperpigmentation and the scarring is not going to occur or it's going to heal faster. So that's the first goal of laser hair removal on the face. And then the second thing that men usually want is they want their hair gone, right? Because they have this very negative connotation associated with this hair because it's caused so much pain and, you know, it's caused all these symptoms on their face. And that's where it gets tricky because laser hair removal in men is going to take a lot longer than laser hair women in females or in women. So... For example, a lot of men will start to have this issue around puberty because they like trying to experiment with like shaving and all of that. But between the ages of like 12 to 22, like your, your, your hormones are like still peaking, right? They haven't like completely stabilized yet. And so during that time, you're going to have an increase in your testosterone, which is why most men in this age group will also develop a lot of acne. But during this time, your hair is going to be very, very thick. And so when you shave or when you do laser hair removal, it's going to be difficult to basically stop the hair from being thick because the main driver of hair going from thin to thick or from vellus to coarse is going to be testosterone. And so if your testosterone is like on the up and up and it's peaking and we're trying to do laser, we're not going to be very successful during that phase because the, the testosterone, your testosterone levels are going up. So whenever someone comes in and they're in that adolescent or um, adolescent, sorry, adolescent age or just like in their early 20s, I always tell them it's going to take a little bit longer to get rid of the hair because your testosterone is still shooting up, okay? Once you go past that, so let's say you're 25 and above, and then you want to get laser hair removal, it's still going to be difficult to get rid of the hair because, like I said, the testosterone is there every single day. It's not like us women where our hormones peak and flow depending on the time of the month. You guys have steady amounts of testosterone. So very important to understand that if you're doing laser hair removal, the time frame that it would take to get the hair to go from thick to thin is probably going to be double. So for a lot of my patients, I'll tell them, we can probably get your hair to be thin in like six to eight sessions, not removed, but thin, right? 
And then after that, then we need to continue to do more sessions because your testosterone is still there and it's still pushing the hair to become thick. So we need to do more sessions to then work on eliminating the hair. So whenever you go for laser hair removal as a man and you ask during your consultation how many treatments it's going to take, if they don't say between 10 to 15 or even 20 treatments, you're going to be disappointed because most of the time people forget about the hormonal cause of hair, right? For men, right, when whenever a woman comes in with facial hair, we say they're having male pattern hair growth. And so as a man, you're supposed to have a beard, you're supposed to have chest hair, you're supposed to have back hair and, and all of that. And so hair in these areas that are driven by hormones are going to take longer to get rid of and in your situation, we're not trying to change your hormones. We want your testosterone levels to be where they're supposed to be. So it's going to take a lot longer to get the hair to become thin. And a lot of times when it's thin, a lot of men are okay with it because they can still shave and they're not having the symptoms on their skin. They're not having the ingrown hairs. They're not getting the hyperpigmentation or the scarring. And so for a lot of people, that's going to be our goal. Our goal is going to be to get the hair to be thin not to eliminate the hair. Now, if we go further and we treat you for two years plus, then we can work on eliminating the hair, but it's always important to understand or to manage your expectations when we're talking about laser hair removal for men. The next thing I'm going to talk about is the type of laser that is going to be best for treating black skin. I always say this, but you want to go to somebody who has a 1064 nanometer wavelength ND YAG laser. This is going to be the safest option for skin of color. And hopefully they have a lot of experience treating darker skin tones because when it comes to treating the beard, the settings need to be a little bit different and the spot sizes and all of that might need to be a little bit different, especially when we're dealing with like really intense ingrown hairs. But find somebody who has experience um, and just understand the type of laser that you need to use and understand the duration of the treatment so you're not disappointed because a laser tends to be expensive so you don't want to spend a lot of money and then not get the results that you want. The last thing I want to discuss is skincare. Whenever men have pseudofolliculitis barbae, one of the issues that they're dealing with is the fact that the skin is very, very thick and the hair is getting caught in the skin. So you want to make sure that you're exfoliating your skin probably two to three times a week. You want to use maybe an acid, like lactic acid, glycolic acid, some form of acid to just help soften the skin so that that hair can, put, um, can peek through. Um, and then the other thing that you might want to consider is potentially using some form of retinol. So it could be like different gel over the counter or tretinoin if you have access to that. Again, that's going to help with exfoliating. I'll put some examples of what I'm talking about in the in the description below. And obviously sunscreen is going to be important because whenever you have inflammation and the sun hits that inflammation, it's going to potentially lead to hyperpigmentation. So you wanna make sure that you're using sunscreen. So these are the three types of ingredients or skincare products that is super important to be using if you're going to do laser hair removal on the beard area. So this was a very short video in response to somebody who commented on my video about doing laser hair removal and not getting good results. So I just wanted to make this so that other men who may be searching for laser hair removal can get this information and then they can know what the deal is before they go in for laser hair removal treatments. So I hope you found this video useful. If you have any other questions about skincare or women's health related to skin of color, women of color, people of color, comment below and I'll make a video on that. All right, have a good day. Bye.